Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One Good Vibrations. Last night, as I lay on my elevated bed, you know, the kind you have to climb up stairs to get onto so you can run the risk of falling off of them, going down and breaking your neck. Hadn't happened yet, but uh, I guess there's a first time for everything. And there's also a first time that humans will travel to the planet Jupiter. Now, Jupiter, as you might or might not know, has an extremely active magnetosphere, far more so than that of the Earth. A chaotic ionosphere, a powerful magnetic field surrounds that planet, so much so that the acceleration of charged particles from the sun impacting the outer shell of a space vessel could create radioactivity sufficient to endanger the astronauts inside. It's believed that Jupiter has no surface, so that the best that spacecraft could do would be to get somewhere inside that magnetosphere. And suppose now that two such spaceships got inside that magnetosphere, and both of the spaceships, each of them, had a radio ham on board. I mean, that would be a, a mandatory, wouldn't it? To have radio hams on every spaceship that travels beyond the realm of the Earth and the realm of the, the Earth-Moon system? Well, every spacecraft that travels anywhere ought to have at least one radio ham on it. Suppose that these two spacecraft decide to take advantage of the ionospheric propagation that might occur on Jupiter and see if they can communicate with each other. Now, I don't know how much you know about Jupiter. I don't know a whole lot other than that radio waves would probably be dramatically affected by this magnetosphere, this ionosphere, this complicated uh, chaotic jumble of electromagnetic energy and somehow through that jungle of electromagnetic energy a radio wave on say 7.035 megahertz would find its way from one spacecraft to the other. Greetings W1GV this is whoever W1GV slant 1, W1GV slant 2, or whatever. Suppose that they tried to communicate and succeeded, or failed. What do you think would happen to radio waves at ham radio high frequencies, in the, in the HF band in particular, between 3 and 30 megahertz? What do you think would happen to those radio waves in an ionosphere like that? Comments are open, and I hope your imagination is too. It had better be, because I don't have any idea other than I probably, uh, what, what would probably happen would be beyond my wildest imaginations. Let's hear some wild imaginings that might, in fact, have a basis in reality. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, saying 73, and so long, which, even in the jungle of the Jupiterian ionosphere, would always translate in my native fist to, so long, Di-di-di-da-di-da! Di, di, di,